Ladies and gentlemen, greetings from India and welcome to the another exciting episode of the Captain Pursue Show where we uncover the hidden gems of Hollywood blockbusters. Tonight, we have got a real treat for you. We are diving deep into the world of one of the most iconic movies of all time, Titanic. And we will also tell you about the 10 lesser known facts about Titanic that will make you see the epic film in a whole new light. So grab your life jackets and get ready to sail through the unknown waters of Titanic. Woo! I can see the Statue of Liberty already. That is small, of course. <laughs> and do not forget to subscribe us so that we can get you more interesting fact about Hollywood in future. So, let's jump right in. Did you know that the stunning blue diamond necklace, the heart of the ocean, was a fictional creation inspired by authentic Edwardian jewellery? While the necklace in the film was a product of imagination, its design and backstory drew from the elegance and glamour of the early 1900s. Talk about movie magic made historical flair. It was worn by Louis XVI and they called it Le Coeur de la Mer, the, the heart, heart of, of the, the ocean. ocean. Yes. <laughs> Can you imagine anyone else but Leo and Kate playing Jack and Rose? Well, believe it or not, the casting process was a roller coaster for near misses and last minute decisions. Before Leonardo and Kate Winslet were cast, big names like Matthew McConaughey and Gwyneth Paltrow were considered for the lead roles. Can you imagine Matthew saying, I'll never let you go? All right, all right, all right. While Titanic aimed for historical accuracy, there were a few creative liberties taken for the sake of drama. For example, the love story of Rose and Jack was completely fictional and some of the characters were composites of real people. But hey, who needs historical accuracy when you have got romance and tragedy on the high seas? We never found anything on Jack. There's no record of him at all. No, there wouldn't be, would there? Ever wondered how they filmed those breathtaking underwater scenes? Well, it turns out that they built a massive water tank in Mexico for the underwater shots. And boy, they got it. James Cameron, the director, actually went scuba diving to explore the real Titanic wreckage for inspiration. Now that's what I call dedication. The ship is gonna suck us down. Take a deep breath when I say. Titanic didn't just sail into theatres, it smashed box office records like an iceberg through the steel. It held the title of highest grossing film of all time for over a decade, ranking in over 2 billion worldwide. That's more than enough to buy your own fleet of luxury liners. To see the, she wanted to see the propellers. <laughs> like I said, women and machinery do not mix. Believe it or not, they built not one but two full-scale replicas of the Titanic for filming. One was used for exterior shots, while the other was a detailed interior set that could tilt and sink just like the real thing. Talk about sinking your budget into authenticity, mate. Do you know of Dr. Freud, Mr. Ismay? His ideas about the male preoccupation with size might be of particular interest to you. Titanic didn't just win a few Oscars, it particularly cleaned the house. It took home a whooping 11 Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director for James Cameron. Not bad for a movie about a sinking ship, huh? The Oscar goes to James Cameron for Titanic. Titanic is full of Easter eggs and hidden details that you might have missed. Did you know that the clock in the dining room is set to the exact time the real Titanic sank? Or that the painting in Rose's cabin is actually a nude portrait of a director's ex-wife? Now that's what I call attention to detail. So what are you, an artist or something? These are rather good. My heart will go on. Let's talk about the iconic theme song, shall we? My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion became synonymous with Titanic. But did you know that it almost didn't happen? Celine was initially hesitant to record the song. But after some convincing from James Cameron, she gave it a shot. And thank God she did. Because it went on to become one of the best-selling singles of all time. I, I, I didn't want to record the song. 
No. My heart will go on? <gasps> I'm sorry. In Incalade. Last but not the least, over 20 years later, Titanic still holds a special place in our hearts. Its impact on cinema and pop culture is undeniable, and its legacy continues to inspire filmmakers and audiences alike. So here's to Titanic, the ship that sailed into our hearts and never let go. I'll never let go. I promise. And there you have it, folks. 10 unknown facts about Titanic that will make you want to shout, I'm flying, Jack, from the nearest mountaintop. It's one of those movies from which any filmmaker can learn so much about movie making. So thank you for joining us tonight on the Captain Pursue Show, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, stay safe, stay curious, and never let go of your dreams. This is Captain Pursue, signing off. <laughs>